If you want to know how to target the rich in Facebook ad, then watch this secret that I'm about to share with you in this Facebook audience targeting method. So as a Facebook advertiser, one of the biggest goals of yours is to tweak your Facebook ad in such a way that only people who have the budget and can afford your product or service will see your ad. This automatically impacts your ad positively, it gives you sales and then saves you cost as your ad will only be shown to the relevant audience who are able to pay for whatever it is that you are selling. So let's go over to our ad manager and let me show you how to target the rich when you're launching your next Facebook ad. So I will come over to my ad manager and just create a demo campaign. Of course, I want to assume that you know what you are doing here at the campaign level. We will actually be focusing our attention at the ad set level because that is where we are to set up our Facebook audience targeting like a pro. So I will just come here and click next. You can go ahead and fill all these for yourselves. They are pretty straightforward, but I will scroll down to the audience targeting section. So to set up your audience targeting for the rich, click the optional audience suggestion option here. For age, I will just use 23 to 65 and above. I'll leave my gender on the default all. Now here at the detail targeting, there are two ways I can go about this. I want to believe that you already have an idea of the kind of keywords you originally want to use to target your market or your target market. So for instance, I just launched my Google My Business course that teaches you how you can get between 5 to 50 customers to your business from Google every day. By the way, the link to that course is in the video description. You can check it out if you want more customers to your business as a local business owner. So if I want to run a Facebook ad to sell this course to business owners, but this time around, I want to only target the rich business owners who will be willing to pay to get this course to be the only ones to see my ad. All I will do is the following. Number one, I'll come here and as you can see, it says include people who match. And I'll just pick a general keyword for my business. In this case, I will choose small business owners. After that, I can go ahead and click the suggestion option here. So I'll just go ahead and pick just about two or more options that are relevant to the original option I took. Alright, I think these two are just enough for me for this demonstration. Now, if you come here, Facebook shows us the estimated size of the audience that we will be targeting with this selection. For me, this number is too big and really it's good for the method that I'm using for this ad targeting that I'm showing you. So now, the next thing I want to do here is to select only the rich people within this estimated audience size and soon you will expectedly see that this number will begin to reduce. So to do that, I will scroll down to the option that says define further. I'll click it and as you can see here, it says and must also match. So, what this place is saying is that our ad will be shown only to people who match the above criteria and those criteria must also match this new set of criteria that we are about to set. So, our audience must fall within both criteria before our ad can be shown to them, which exactly is what we want to achieve here. So here, we want to tell Facebook to target people within the first criteria but who are also rich enough to afford a product and service. So the first keyword that I will be using to select rich Facebook users who are business owners in this case is number one, I will use luxury vehicle. Once I enter this criteria, you can see that my estimated audience targeting has reduced significantly. So now, we are not only targeting business owners, we are also making sure that these business owners are people who can afford to buy luxury vehicles or at least have interest in luxury vehicles because normally that is a character that only rich people will demonstrate. 
So now, using this method, I will always watch my estimated audience size to guide me. The idea here is that I want to keep reducing this size until I have gotten a size that I am almost comfortable with. So for me, 4 million plus is still a large number. So again, I'll reduce this further down. So again, another keyword to use to target rich people is something like luxury goods. So I'll click define further again and select luxury goods. Again, my estimated audience size is reduced a little more, but I really want to have something between say 700,000 and 1 million size. So I'll go for another keyword to target rich audience. Define for that. So I will search for something like frequent international travels. This is another good one and I expect this to reduce my audience size quite significantly. Yeah, this is good. So now I have about 1 million audience size super targeted towards rich business owners who have interest in luxury cars, who have interest in luxury goods and who are very likely to be engaged in frequent international travels. So as a bonus, let me just try reduce this audience size a little bit more and increase my targeting quality again. So let's go with another defined for that. And this time let's search for engaged shoppers. These are people that are in addition to having all the behaviors that we have already filtered already, they also have the character of loving to buy things online. Obviously, that's another very important character that will be perfect for our product. So I'll go ahead and select this. Now, can you see what I'm seeing here? You can see here that just this last keyword has reduced our targeting to about 400,000. Now, that's massive if you ask me, but also very amazingly detailed. So, at this point, the option is left for you to decide. If this was your original audience estimation in mind, then you have done yourself a great job. And then you can go ahead and finish up your hard setup. But if I think that this audience size is too little, then I can either remove some of the narrow options that I've used already. For instance, if I remove luxury goods, you will notice that my audience size has increased a little more. Another thing you can do is to go back to the detailed targeting option and add more targets. Though I don't always prefer this option because usually my rule is not to target more than three targeting options for a single ad. But really, the option is yours. I don't want to start talking so much about audience targeting in this video since the title of my video is to show you how to target rich people which I believe that I have done justice to. But if you love to see my other videos where I talk more about ideas on how to do your general targeting, then you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my next videos. And once you are good with your targeting, you can just go ahead and click next to set up your ad at the ad level. So I think these keywords that I've used here are just enough for you to try out something and I'm very sure that it will significantly affect your next ad and you're going to perform much better than you've been doing before. So if you have any questions, then feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will read every one of them and give you my best and honest answers. Please like this video before you leave and in the video that is currently displayed on your screen, I share practical ways that will make sure that your Facebook ad account never get disabled or restricted by Facebook. I think you should check it out.